Fix the mic. Fix the mic. Hi. Hey. So I figured I would do it for the open mic just to get my nerves out because I get nervous every single time even though I, I do this. But um, I actually wrote this piece um, because it's kind of a feminist movement kind of thing. Uh, getting control back over my body and every other woman, women getting control back over their body is actually called backdoor abortions. And the, the goal basically was uh, teacher of mine had gave us the opportunity to write about any issue that we thought was uh, large at hand and I chose to do abortions and birth control because they're trying to limit all of that and I feel like it's not fair because it should be a choice because condoms are a choice and for men to get uh, to have the choice not to have children if they want to is a choice so I feel like that um, sorry I'm getting nervous so I'm just talking so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go um, so back to abortions I bet that you want me to have this baby. All of you, consumers, you grievers, you judgmental, arrogant, overachievers, you leeches, ready to watch my supple skin turn inside out and run down my sides like overripe peaches. Why? Why is it wrong for me to make mistakes? Why does everyone act like they cannot? What? Uh, why does everyone act like they cannot relate? Why is my body even up for debate? Because I'm young? Because I'm black? Excuse me. Because I'm African American? Because the man needs a reason to keep me down again? Because I'm too smart for my own good, but I'll never make it out the hood because I lost track of time. And he, he lost track of contraceptive. And in the heat of the moment, we both forgot what the objective was of us being there in the same air, me sitting on the edge in just my underwear. I cannot bear to think of the consequences that will rise when my belly begins to raise and raise eyebrows begin to raise suspicion because I raise my hand to go to the bathroom almost 80 times a day and I got enough salt raising my blood pressure. I ain't ready to raise no kid. I can't keep it. What will my mom say? What will he say? What emotions will he portray? What will he do? Disown it. And disown me and come up with all of the possible baby daddy possibilities, leaving me and only me to deal with it. So I'll deal with it. Flashes of hot and return to snow as the fire dies in my veins and I am restrained down to the cold medical table. She says she's done it before and in her I will believe so I fall back on the table feeling slightly relieved, actually believing that it's all over and done, no longer accepting a new daughter or a son and I feel the touch of the cold barbecue tongue against my inner thigh and only then do I believe that I might cry and as the blood rushes I am certain that I will die but she assures me that everything is fine and that she's done this about a thousand times but as I scan the room I am immersed in the shadows of dirty towels and rusty syringes from late night binges my skin is growing cold my throat I cannot feel my voice I cannot deal with all the with all the illusions I begin to see of all the girls on this table here before me with bellies full of mistakes but hearts full of hope, I can no longer cope. I can't hold on. Baby, I'm sorry. And mama, I love you. And to my unborn child, we are born again together, forced to face the weather. I could have survived and you could have survived too, but I was only 16. What else was there for me in here? Back to abortions.